So we continue the action here, and John Welch making a good start. John, who didn't get a first run in yesterday when the front diff broke on that car, they brought it to the start line, but he didn't get in a time at all, and John Welch coming away, leading this one, I think. Yes, no, no. Been taken there by the Metro 6R4 of Guy Williams. Guy coming all the way around the outside in the Century Plant enter. Guy Williams leads it. It's Stephen Palmer down in third place. A cracking drive there for the young man from Surrey. Guy Williams leads it. John trying to come on the inside. Can't do so at the moment. Going to do it. Yes, John Welsh through on the inside. Guy Williams going with him. A bit of door handling as they go away. Down Harry Hill into Paddock Ben. Steve Palmer watching it happen in third place. Stephen Palmer sitting there in third place. The British champion. Stephen, of course, will be wanting to do well here today because, remember, this is also the final of the Sherwood British Open Championship for which Steve Palmer would like to take victory in as well as the British National Series which he clinched here earlier this year and Steve Palmer at the moment though being pushed down to the third place as John Welch comes up and John Welch it is in the lead with the unique 4x4 turbocharged Astra into the uh, Devil's Elbow flame pouring from the exhaust Stephen Palmer trying to come through on the inside as Guy Williams goes a bit wide Guy Williams though holding station and I think as they go into the elbow Guy Williams going to retain that second spot he is yes Guy Williams still doing holding off Stephen Palmer John Welch the leader down into Chesson's was a lead which was held all the way around to the North Bend hairpin. It's being held here through Paddock, through the chicane, and back towards Chesson's Drift once again. Still John Welsh leading it from Guy Williams. Stephen Palmer coming in, and this has got to be one of the best races we've seen the, on the weekend, and it's an all-British trio coming away. John Welsh from Guy Williams from Stephen Palmer as they go down into the elbow once again, and yet any one of these three drivers could take this race. Still John Welsh leading. Guy Williams trying to get that lead back. Stephen Palmer trying to come in and take second place, and then have a look at John Welsh. He can't do so at the moment. The order's still the same. Guy Williams very sideways. Round the North Bend hairpin. They accelerate away. Down Harry Hill. The two normally aspirated 6R4s taken on the John Welch car, which of course has to carry a bit more weight than these normally aspirated devices behind him. So John at the moment perhaps with more power, but a little bit more weight to drag around the Lydon circuit. But he's using that to good advantage as they come into Chessons. And it's still John Welch from Guy Williams. And can Guy go around the outside again the way he did on the first lap? Guy's certainly having a look to go around the outside of Chessons. He gets alongside John Welch, but John John holding him off as they come onto the Dover slope and down it is indeed almost a dead heat but John Welch I think just getting it there 